What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm speaking low because literally everyone in my house is home. Everyone in my house is home. Yeah. So, and then like, they talk really loud. They make fun of me when I film. Or at least my, my little siblings do. So I'm going to talk a little quieter this video. But, um, I got my Starbucks. I'm actually almost done with it. Um, so love that for me. Um... Actually, don't love that for me because, like, it's almost gone. But, like, whatever. Before I get into this video, I do have something to say, though. Last night, I was looking at my analytics. And I saw that 71% of you guys aren't subscribed. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sit here for a second. And let you guys just press that subscribe button. Because why not? Um, especially if you're watching my videos already. And I'm freaking hilarious. Like... And I'm so fun. You know what I mean? So just like press that subscribe button. Help a girl out. Support a sister. Um, live our best lives together. Um, so yeah. Did you click it yet? How about now? Just click it. Like it's it's okay. Um, so if you haven't clicked it. But if you did, what's up? Welcome to the tribe. So today I actually cut my um, finger on a piece of cardboard and it really, really, really hurt. And I have a hair in my eye. And it like really hurt and it stung and it was like a paper cut, but like thicker and worse. So like I thought I was dying, but it's fine. I got a bandaid on it. Um, so I'm all good now. But for today's video, I am going to be doing makeup products that I can't live without because I have gotten, I have hair in my eye. I have gotten um, comments asking me what I use sometimes or like what foundation do I use, what mascara do I use, how do I get my lashes like that, how do I get my winged eyeliner like that. So I figured that I would just film a video for you guys, sorry, and tell you the products that I literally can't live without that I use in my everyday makeup routine and like these products I've been using for like such a long time. So I figured I would share with you guys. So if you're excited for this video, give it a like, comment down below, video ideas for the future. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already, like the last time I told you. So go ahead and hit it and let's get into the video. So this is all makeup products. It's like no skincare, nothing, just legit like makeup. Oh my God, I can't get it out of my eye. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the James Charles palette. So this was gifted to me from my boyfriend when it first came out. Um, so I honestly don't remember when that was. When did it come out? I think it was the beginning of this year. I could totally be wrong. Um, but before this, I used the Jaclyn Hill palette. And now I'm just obsessed with this and all the colors. There's a lot of colors I still don't use in this palette. Like as you can see, like the blues... And like all these colors really I don't use as much but I do use a lot of the top colors with like mixing blending and stuff like that so like I wish he would come out with like individual of like the sparkly ones because I use this as my highlight and I literally am obsessed with it I can't live without it I did it today I don't know if you can see it probably not um, but yeah, so this is the makeup palette I can't live without. This is the only makeup palette I use at the moment. Um, I'm actually not using any other palette, which I guess is a good thing, which means this is like totally good and I'm worth the money. So the James Charles palette is definitely something I can't live without. So the next thing I'm going to do is eyeliner. So I get, oops, I get a lot of questions on how do I get my wing like that? How do I get it so perfect and all of that? And it really just depends on the eyeliner you get and like the tip of the eyeliner. Um, so personally for me, I've tried a couple of different brands with eyeliners, but I always end up going back to this one. It's the L'Oreal Paris in the Super Slim. It's this one. This is the one I always go back to. So screenshot it, like look it up. And buy it because it literally is the best I had to buy a new one today because I ran out of my other one and I literally was like scraping and hoping for the best that my eyeliner would be finished today um, because it was like that empty but yeah so this I can't live without it's like nine dollars I think um, it's compared to like other brands it's pretty cheap so 
And I definitely recommend this eyeliner. I've tried like Maybelline and what was the other one? I tried another one. I don't remember what it was, but I really always go back to this one. And like the tip is so fine. Is that what you say? I don't know. It's just like the perfect point, pointed tip. So 10 out of 10, recommend this eyeliner. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to talk about is my lashes. So if you don't know, if you're new here, a lot of you guys are new. So I'm just going to say it. Your girl is obsessed with her lashes. I don't wear falsies because I honestly just don't know how to glue them on or do them right or keep it like perfect. So I just don't want to look like a crazy person and have like my eyelashes like half off, you know, just because I don't know how to do it. Um... So to me, they're very, very important to make sure that my eyelash, like my fake, my fake lashes, my real lashes look like fake lashes. So I've tried, I kid you not, over like 50 mascaras by now. And like, I'll go through a phase where I use this one mascara for six months because it's so great. And then one day it doesn't work for me anymore. And then I'm like, oh, I found a new mascara and it's like fantastic. And I use that for like five months and it's great and then it doesn't work for me anymore so the one that is working for me right now um i use a combination so i use a waterproof and a non-waterproof just to make my lashes look a little bit thicker i don't know if it looks thicker to you um i use nyx worth the hype mascara in the non-waterproof and the waterproof so i just bought the same brand because i feel i feel like i felt like is it gonna focus I just bought the same brand because I felt like it would just be better if I chose the same brand than doing two different brands. Focus on my face. Okay. I just felt like it would be better um, if I got the same brand instead of like doing two different ones. And if I liked one and didn't like the other, like, I don't know. And this is like really cheap. It's literally like $6, $5. Um, so like to me, that's like perfect. I'm not going to go spend like... $25 on a mascara and then it like look like crap when I can spend six dollars on a mascara and it looks like it's the $25 mascara you know what I'm saying so like this is like really good right now so the next thing I'm going to talk about is my eyebrows so where okay so for my eyebrows I never used to fill them in and then one day I forget what I was doing and I think I got like um something for free sorry if my house is loud like I said everybody's home um I got it free from someone and I was obsessed with doing my brows, but then I kept like trying to find new things and she gave me more free stuff. Um, so I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I don't use this side. I use the brush side just to brush them out. And then I use the Dip Brow Pomade. So I don't, okay, she's pretty old. So she's kind of ratchet. Okay, as I was saying, I got interrupted. Um, the dip brow is literally my favorite. I don't know how much this is because like I said, it was gifted to me. I probably wouldn't have bought it myself just because I like the cheap stuff because I don't want to spend the money on it. But if it's offered to me, I take it. So, um, I highly recommend this if you have the money for it. I just think it's a really good investment to make your brows look like this. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is my foundation and concealer. I'm going to do both of them in the same because I don't want to do like two separate clips. So I never used to wear foundation or concealer until last December when my boyfriend bought it for me because I did talk about wanting to wanting to start to wear it. Is that how you say it? Wanting to wear it. And we decided on this brand together. So we're, we tried the Tarte shape tape concealer so this was my very first container it's completely empty i just used the brush because i like the brush um but then i couldn't find it in stores anymore so i got the face tape which i think is the same thing but i'm not really sure um so i use this one and then i use the shape tape concealer the only thing with this one is i feel like <sighs> i don't know it's just not my favorite but i like it but i don't you know what i mean like it's a really good foundation don't get me wrong i love it i'm not gonna like change it anytime soon i don't think but i would love to hear what you guys use because i'm looking for a different brand to try because i have been using this one for over a year now so it'd be nice to try something new thing i'm gonna talk about is the bronzer that i use so this was a um i think it was ipsy 
it was in an ipsy bag so i never used to wear bronzer but then i started wearing foundation and i still had it and i was like oh i still have it so it is the balm des desert desert bronzer slash bl blush it says i can't speak um this is what it looks like you want to see what the inside looks like whoop that's what the inside looks like it is literally the tiniest little bronzer ever but i've been using it for almost six months now maybe and it still has so much life left in her um it's gonna be a sad day when i have to go buy another one because i love it so much um but i think i want to try the hula bronzer next but this is definitely a really good one for starters i guess last thing i'm going to talk about is liquid lipstick but it's matte so matte liquid lipstick oh my gosh my boyfriend keeps calling me um let me try to finish this so this liquid matte lipstick is literally my all-time favorite i have it in two colors just because i haven't been to ulta lately and i haven't had time to go buy more because i would it is the morphe matte lipstick i don't know if it's called anything special i just know it's by morphe i have the red one and then i have a I have a nude pinkish color too, um, but they look so good on. They don't normally come off unless unless you eat something greasy, and it's like $10, so I totally recommend this if you're looking for a good matte lipstick that is cheap because it is amazing. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, video ideas for the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.